Not too many people know that Alamosa is the largest railroad hub in Southern Colorado. For over 80 years, beginning in the late 1800s, an overnight train ran between Denver and Alamosa over La Vida Pass, and a day train ran further from Alamosa to Durango. Alamosa was originally the railroad hub of the San Luis Valley and even the narrow gauge railroad hub of America. As the railroad grew, so did Alamosa, which eventually grew into a city with character and a lot of history. Regular service on these routes were discontinued in 1951, and since then, there have been a few special passenger trains over the past, but no regular service. Today, once again, Alamosa provides the starting point for one of Colorado's newest visitor destinations, the Rio Grande Scenic Railroad. CBNA Films crew was invited to take part in the inaugural ride where we had a chance to meet Ed Ellis, who was the railroad's developer, and he talks about what it took to get the railroad started again. Uh, we've been interested in this railroad for a long time. I've been coming to the valley since the 80s. My wife's family had some property in Del Norte, and uh, we love this area. We think this is uh, just a terrific area, and we knew that La Vida Pass was pretty, but until you actually see it on the train, you don't realize how pretty it is. And once I saw it, I thought, you know, this is really, this would be a really great place to have an excursion train. The San Luis Express route enables tourists to enjoy daily trips across the 9,242-foot La Vida Pass to the rustic western town that bears the same name, on a route that was built over a hundred years ago and stretches between Alamosa and La Vida, crossing the Sangre de Cristo Mountains. The journey is experienced in climate-controlled coaches in a food service car pulled by diesel locomotives. As you embark on this nostalgic journey, you will experience amazing views of the Sangre de Cristo's rugged peaks that will leave you simply breathless. The train buff will also have a chance to cross through two tunnels, take pictures on a horseshoe curve, as well as trackage on a narrow ledge where mountain views are truly captivating no matter the season. You know, I've ridden railroads all over Colorado. There's a lot of good mountain passes, and this one is unique. It's got tunnels, it's got 16 degree curves, very sharp hairpin curves. It's got the beautiful trees, uh, firs and aspens, and it's the highest standard gauge crossing of the Rockies that's in service today. And nobody's ridden it for 50 years. Well, the visitor is gonna be treated to just phenomenal scenery. Uh, and again, scenery that hasn't been available to the public eye for over half a century. So we know we're going to have just a massive influx of, of the rail fans uh, initially that are going to come in because this has been such a, a wonderfully kept secret for so many years. The, uh, the family tourists, the, the families uh, on vacation that are going to be coming in are going to have a real treat. They're going to see diverse scenery. Uh, wildlife is abundant. Uh, deer, elk, bear, wild turkeys, I mean it's all here. Antelope out in the flat and uh, just scenery that is vistas that go on forever. And now over on the uh, on the east side of the pass as you can see the uh, the grade is steeper, the curves are tighter and the train just winds around and around and it's just a very enjoyable ride. The Toltec Gorge Limited provides daily connecting rides between Alamosa and Antonito, where one can board another impressive railroad of the area, the Cumbres and Toltec Scenic Railroad. The Cumbres and Toltec Scenic Railroad was originally built in the 1880s as part of the Rio Grande's San Juan Extension, with the purpose of servicing the San Juan Silver Mining District of southwestern Colorado, and was considered at the time to be America's longest and highest narrow-gauge steam railroad. 
Unfortunately, the Sherman Act of 1890 had a cataclysmic effect on the silver mining industry, and operations on the San Juan extension dwindled dramatically. Today, visitors can ride the steam railroad between Antonito, Colorado, and Chama, New Mexico. The tourist route offers 64 miles of incredible scenery, meanders through the magnificent Toltec Gorge, passes the 10,015-foot elevation of Cumbres Pass, as well as goes through tunnels and several high bridges. Music